the treatment protocols for nasopharyngeal carcinoma. So radiation is the mainstay of treatment. Radiotherapy is the treatment of choice for all stages of nasopharyngeal carcinoma from T1 to T4 and any uh, end disease, N0 or N plus. So if the patient is only T1, N0 without neck nodes and only confined to nasopharynx or nasal cavity or pharynx, then radiation alone can be given. Uh, if the disease is T2 to T4 or any N, like N plus disease, then uh, the, it should be, the radiation should be complemented with concurrent chemotherapy. Most of the cases, it is concurrent cisplatin. So we give uh, cisplatin once weekly, then we give uh, radiation five times weekly, like uh, seven, uh, it's a seven weeks treatment. We give a uh, dose of 70 gray to the patient, up to 70 gray, uh, depending on various treatment volumes. So uh, in this locally advanced nasopharyngeal cancer, most of the times it should be uh, complemented with adjuvant chemotherapy. After finishing the concurrent chemo radiation, then the patient should receive two to three cycles of adjuvant chemotherapy, the cisplatin five duration. Uh, if the patient is metastatic, then uh, again, uh, it's not that the, maybe lost hope that if the, the disease is oligometastatic, like uh, the metastasis in only limited regions, then uh, this, those patients can be tried with curative intent. Like first, initially, those patients receive systemic chemotherapy. Then, uh, based on the response, like if there is any response, then uh, the local uh, site can be uh, salvaged with radiation or radiation uh, chemo radiotherapy or uh, if there's no response or if the response is little then the only chemotherapy can be continued with same or different regimens. So if the patient is widely metastatic but with good performance status then uh, again chemotherapy is a good option in those patients if based on the response the uh, addition of radiotherapy can be paid upon. Then uh, if the patient is widely metastatic, like the, dis the disease is very uh, advanced and spread in different organs, and if the uh, performance status of the patient is poor, then those patients, it's better not to offer any uh, radical treatment for those patients, and best supportive care is best for those patients. So uh, this is a small slide uh, indicating different treatment volumes, what we include in radiotherapy planning for these patients based on the stage. So uh, what are the stages? If the N is negative, then the nodal volumes are boosted with lesser dose, like the prophylactic dose. If there are any gross nodes, then those gross nodes and the gross disease is boosted up to 70 gray with the margin. Okay. Those prophylactic nodal volumes are treated with a lesser dose compared to the Gros disease. So, if you see this, this is the images showing the radiotherapy planning for this patient. So, this is the upper slide. So, it is just below the spinoid sinus. So, this is the spinoid sinus. So, sorry, this is the spinoid sinus, and we are just below the spinoid sinus. So, the treatment volume includes the entire nasal pharynx and the posterior part of the nasal cavity here and Laterally, it is confined by the bone here. Uh, then this is the, the, the starting of the growth here. The blue one is the gross volume. The red one is the clinical target volume. The green, blue one is the planning target volume. So here uh, it again includes uh, the neck nodes here. This is the gross neck node. Again, this is these are the different sections of the uh, head and neck showing the different uh, target volumes for the radiotherapy planning. So uh, by this, uh, I finished my presentation uh, for today. So we have discussed only one case today, uh, that is the case of nasopharyngeal cancer. So uh, this is stage two, uh, sorry, stage three, uh, nasopharyngeal cancer, T2, N2, um, uh, N0. So we have treated this patient with concurrent chemo radiation followed by actual chemotherapy.